All right, in this video, I'm going to do an example of solving a problem involving projectiles using some quadratic equations. So suppose that we've got Larry, and suppose he throws a rock in the air. The height h and feet above the ground of the rock is given by the equation h equals negative 16t squared plus 123t plus 40. And we want to know how long the rock is in the air. Okay, so, so here's our good friend Larry throwing his rock in the air. Notice, um, you know, just one thing when you look at this equation. So h equals negative 16t squared plus 123t plus 40. This doesn't really matter in respect to the problem, but if you think about it, if you plug in t equals 0, notice the first two terms would be 0, and we would get a height of 40. So to me, that kind of tells me maybe, maybe Larry standing on a cliff originally, okay? So maybe he's 40 feet up into the air and throws the rock off, and eventually it's going to hit the ground. Okay, again, irrelevant for this problem, but, you know, something to think about in terms of, you know, what this equation is actually telling you in a real-life situation. So, okay, so we want to know the time at which it hits the ground, but, well, when it hits the ground, we can think how far above the ground is it, well, when it hits the ground, it's going to be zero feet above the ground. So when t, when it hits the ground, we don't know the time, but we know for sure that the height has to be zero. It's zero feet above the ground. So all we do is we just replace the h with zero, and hey, now we have a nice little quadratic equation that we can try to try to solve. Okay, again, um, two ways to do this. You could either use the quadratic formula. I think um, I can factor this. I'm going to play with it here. So let's see. We need we need something to give us negative 16 t squared. I'm going to try a t and a negative 16 t. We need two numbers to multiply to 40. But again, when we distribute everything out, we have to get this 123 t. Let's see, I think we can use, how about negative 8 and negative 5. So if we multiply those, we definitely get positive 40. We'll get negative 16t squared minus 5t. Let's see, um, when we take negative 8 and negative 16, that's positive 128. Positive 128 minus 5 will give us the positive 123, and then we'll get our positive 40. Okay, so this works. So now we just have to set each factor equal to 0. So if I set t minus 8 equal to 0 and add 8 to both sides, I'll get t equals 8 as one solution. If I set negative 16 t minus 5 equal to 0, we can add 5 to both sides and then divide by our negative 16, and we'll get t equals 5 over negative 16, but we can't have negative seconds here, so that answer doesn't make sense. So it says eight seconds later is when this rock is going to hit the ground.